class related to interface is virtual wire pair pair means uh, pair definitely in english pair and virtual wire i told you basically is doing like a bridging uh, we call them transparent as well transparent firewall and cisco terminology uh, and for palo alto firewall we call them v wire we use them here as well the, the student who took the class we know there so we are the palo alto call them virtual wire v wire by the way sorry not a virtual wire v wire and here we call them v wire pair and cisco we call them transparent firewall either bridge basically what is virtual wire pair there is no ip address configure on this port whatever you want to pair them and it only require two interfaces keep in mind not more than two not less than two is basically bridging so there will be no ip address on port 1 and port 2 and you can use the same subnet on both side the same concept which we discussed in cisco sfr wall those student which is in cisco sfr also we done the same concept in palo alto firewall we call them v wire so you know this terminology for those they are new so let me give you this like a bridging basically so this firewall will do nothing here is we are using the same subnet and same subnet in this side normally we use firewall to give different subnet like a router interfaces when you assign the same ip it will give you overlap error the same case in in firewall but you can configure firewall as a transparent mode okay so they uh, pair them basically i want to combine pc1 and server1 as a one subnet and you can assign the same policy and same everything but it's like a, a transparent one suppose if any organization say don't change my subnet just plug and play something so you can use this virtual uh, wire pair uh, either for some other reason okay so how to do it so let's go to lab and let me remove this one i will use the same firewall because it will take time to boot up and from here let me take one web term as a client one side and one toolbox as a server on the other side you can take any router switches as well it's not it doesn't mean if you don't know uh, this one so you can use anything let me connect this one to port 2 okay and let me connect port 3 to server okay so now i need to assign the same subnet on both side normally we assign different yeah in this case i will assign same subnet so right click on pc edit configuration and from auto start remove hash okay and suppose let me assign one here 0/1 slash i don't care about gateway because they are not require any gateway so forget about that one 0/1 slash is my ip on this side and right click here edit configuration control a control v and let's suppose 11 so 1 and 11 on this side the same subnet same everything okay is better that i can and let me on this So let me type the IP 192.168.0.1 is IP on this side, and the same subnet IP is here. Only the last digit is changed, which is 11. By default, it will not work because it's not configured as a V wire. So what we can do? I need port three and port two. So let's go there. First, I need to remove because it's already in use. Again, delete is not available. so first you have to go there reference click on this reference remove the reference okay and now you can delete this one click and delete is available and okay now these two port has been released it's not used by any other purpose so 2 and 3 is available which is down okay it's, there is no use so click on create and there is virtual wire pair click on that one give them any name suppose v wire pair click on this icon and choose not two i think so let me see yeah two and three two and three choose two and three and okay if there is vlan so you can click the vlan as well 
so if i go down here is virtual wire v wire if i click on plus so you will see v wire is the name and type is virtual wire pair there is no ip address configure port 2 and 3 is taking part so what does it mean it means i want to bridge them these two pc together to work do you think it will work let me see if i click on here and let me type 192.168.0.11 which is the ip address of this one because this is a web server ftp server uh, SNMP server so many server are here but it's not reachable if you say maybe the server is down so let me ping it it will not work because I we need to do one more thing so if I say ping 192.168.1.11 so it's not pingable so how they bridge them no we need a policy let's go to policy normally we do policy from here yeah from basic class we know ip4 policy and let me because there is implicit deny that's why the traffic has been denied and let's create new do you think this is available incoming interface no 2 and 4 is not available here it means something is wrong either this policy will not work with the v wire yes because there is nothing available to allow for allowed I need incoming interface and outgoing interface so my interface is 2 and 3 which is not visible here so for v wire you have to enable a new policy feature which is not available here what you can do go to system and there is feature visibility most of the stuff is not visible by default go here and enable by the way it should be nwf okay and there should be advanced something related to policy this policy which we are using this one only ip4 policies are visible so this one policy advanced option and you can see the configuration as well click on this one and apply now you will see the difference if you go to policy and object look at a new policy came ip4 virtual wire pair policy so it means that policy is not made for the virtual v wire so when you enable policy advanced option from system okay now it's available so click on this one now and create the same way like this one create new and give them any name suppose it's say v wire any name they say virtual wire pair which direction you want to give from 2 to 3 the traffic will go but return will be not allowed if you click on this one from port 3 to 2 will be allowed but from 2 to 3 you got my point 3 to 2 the traffic will be allowed from this way but this way traffic will be denied and it's up to you which one you want but in my case i will say no both direction okay and who is the source so forget about this i will say all who is the destination for anything schedule always and services anything and accept and all sessions so that i can see the traffic and okay that's it so rather than to use that policy i uh, create a new policy method and there is no traffic now you will see it has to start now control c and up so it hopefully the ping will start work if i assign this ip the same ip let me see 1.11 it has to be reachable yeah so 10.11 is reachable okay now i can see and for some reason let me see the ping why the ping, oh sorry 0 0 0.11 now the ping will also work okay and now you can verify there is zero byte here if i refresh from here sorry there is so it's better to refresh from here now you will see the traffic it's hitting this policy yeah 21.48 mb you can see uh, the rule okay and also you now you can verify from here as well okay after a while it will come here the so 0 0.1 is going there also the destination is 0 0.11 yeah 0 0.11 for tcp and icmp internet control message protocol 
okay and all session you can verify the all session as well 0.1 going to 0.11 for tcp and icmp and also you can verify from logs as well forwarding traffic so after a while you will see here as well okay so it means now it is working so basically we bridge them as a transparent in the same subnet okay so if you require such things so you can use virtual wire pair okay uh, let me see if i miss something so that i can yeah so we enable here okay and we create a policy system and now we go to yes yeah, working